E. coli, salmonella, every new contamination scare puts us on edge about the fruits and the veggies we eat. Now we know contamination can happen anywhere, but does buying local produce lower your health risk? We asked our Paula Tavin to get some answers to that question, and she is at the farmer's market in Detroit. What did you find out, Paula? Hi, Karen. Well, I found out that actually buying local helps a great deal. So I'm at a farmer's market in uh, North Rosemont, right? Yes. North Rosemont. Look at these beautiful cukes, zucchini, and squash. They have brought them from the fields right here to the communities. And just by buying local, yes, you reduce those emissions and that carbon footprint. It's healthier, but you also reduce your risk of foodborne illnesses. You're looking at acres and acres of farm fresh vegetables before they become produce. Duke Donaghy proudly says the fifth generation who will farm these lands is due any day now. In the meantime, four generations will sell you what they grow at the Northville and Ann Arbor Farmers Markets. Pick the evening before sold. They're all raised right here in Northville. At a farmer's market, the customer can talk directly to the farmer to find out what's on the food. Sometimes, and I have some questions that I ask, and they can answer my questions. Yeah. Trying to eye how many I need. I'll just keep filling the bag. You know what, when I'm buying locally at the farmer's market, I feel good about it. I feel like we're buying from neighbors. I feel like I can talk to them. I feel like I can um, trust not only the, the way that they're grown, um, the way that they're sold, that, that I'm getting something natural and healthy. Because Michigan has so much diversity in food crops, almost anything you want outside of tropicals and citrus can be grown and purchased in this state, which means during the summer months, we can actually make ourselves less susceptible to produce recalls just by buying local produce at farmer's markets or grocery stores that clearly mark produce as Michigan grown and or harvested. When's your corn coming in, bud? Next week. Buying local does not mean you can skip the all-important steps for careful washing, but consider shorter transit times, produce being passed through fewer stops and handled less. When you decrease the transit time, you're decreasing the amount of time that they're um, they, that these foods could be contaminated. And Michigan has a host of regulations many other states don't. For your uh, fungicide or weed control, uh, Michigan use this. Michigan can't use this, but Mexico can use it, Florida can use it, Arizona can use it, but Michigan's got a lot of restrictions that we can't use what they can use. Is that good or bad? Well, uh, if you want to eat more pesticide or whatever, yeah, buy from out of state. <laughs> With the Michigan Farmers Market Association map, we can also see the sheer abundance of farmers markets, and it makes it really easy to find them. Yeah. You know, I, I think I was really surprised at exactly how many there are. And we're actually going to put a link on our social media platforms to make it easy for you to find a farmer's market. Keep in mind, the fresher the food, the more nutritious, because it doesn't have time to degrade. Karen, buying local, great on so many levels. It really is. And I didn't know about the rules, the different regulations compared to Mexico and Michigan. So it's important to realize that and buy local. Yeah, I was surprised. All right. Thank you very much, Paula. We appreciate it.